now we're at Midwich Elementary School. Where poor little Alessa went to school. I think this is a map. Yep. Gotta have that map. Is there anything else? Hmm. I could have sworn there was more in here, but I guess not. Now, the real terror begins. More Ronaldo Gordon. Oh, I remember the K Gordon key. This must be the list of teachers. And we have a very bloody note. What the heck is that? Come on, Harry. It's written in blood. Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist, exchange for sage's water. Makes perfect sense. Another message written in blood. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. And that has something to do with the clock tower. What is all this bloody nastiness? Like, what the heck? A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped and lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Cool story, bro. I could have sworn there were some health drinks in here. But you know, I'm not really that good at remembering where health drinks are. I'm a little worried because I don't know that I'm going to remember much from here. What about the infirmary? There are probably health drinks in the infirmary. Hmm. Oh, there's a notebook here. Health drinks? Ooh, health drink. Mm -mm -mm. What about a first aid kit? I mean, because it totally makes sense that there would be a first aid kit in an infirmary, right? Okay. Now I am trying to remember, like, obviously there are a bunch of puzzles. I know there's one where you need to get, like, the acid and burn off a hand and then you get a coin. I remember that there's, like, a, a piano puzzle. I do not remember the order in which you're supposed to do all this though. And I know I don't really need to go into the courtyard right away. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just work my way around. Let's see if, uh, you know, there's probably gonna be locked doors and stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so there were these little uh, weird kid things in this well, that's locked too. What the heck? Do I have to go through the courtyard? Well, I guess so. I really didn't want to go in the courtyard because the courtyard creeps me out. I couldn't tell you why exactly. Oh god. Oh god, the things. The things, there they are! I feel very strange about these things because. It kind of looks like a kid, but I mean, it has a tail, so it's obviously not a kid. But what is this thing? I mean, look at this thing. What is that? What's on its face? Is that its mouth? It's just a really creepy little thing. We're just gonna... I used to call it a zombie brat. Oh gosh, no! And I woke the kids up. And I turned my flashlight off. Actually, I think that used to be a good thing to do. Oh god, no, they see me. They know I'm here. Do 
Dude, what the heck? Oh, I don't like that. How did I turn my thing off? Hello? Oh, there it is. Circle. Okay, so we had our first uh, big scare there. And thankfully, not too hurt. We're gonna take a drink anyway, so, because we're pretty good on health drinks. And uh, if that happens again, well, might not be that good. Storage. What's in storage? It's locked. Ugh, I'm all freaked out. Mm, what the hell is this? <gasps> it's the little baby ghost thing. All oh, these things are so weird. Just look at it. You can see it. It's like some weird baby. <gasps> and it squeaks. And then it runs. <gasps> and it falls. It's so weird. And then it just disappears. The thing, I remember there's like a spot in the library. And there's like three of them in there. Scared the ever-living poop out of me. Because I thought there were just a bunch of zombie brats in there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Great atmosphere. I'm loving loving the vibe here in Silent Hill Elementary School. Let's, uh, let's uh, go to check out the hall. That's where I want to go. It's locked. Oh, too bad. Let's uh, see if this is open. Friends? Friends. Thankfully, no friends. <sighs> What's that say? I can't quite read it. Can't quite read it. Halt? Halt? A th Theo? Something Theo? I don't know. I don't know why, but I love... I love reading these little posters. I don't know what that says, but it's like a teddy bear or a dog. Dog kill you? Dog something? I don't know. We have to look these up later because now I'm curious. A friend in need. I remember the A Friend in Need posters. I remember people used to be like, it looks like Harry. Kind of looks like Harry. All right. I know that there's only a bunch of millions of these things in here. Thankfully, it's locked. Yeah, I'm liking this. How about all the doors are locked? Then I don't have to deal with those little brats. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. <gasps> you have to like pause before you take your final shot. Otherwise it misses because they're so little. It's kind of annoying. I mean, is there any point to coming in here? Sure doesn't seem like it. Seems like a waste of ammo. I wanna, I wanna feel like there was a reason, but I don't think there was. There was a crying person in one of these. But maybe that's not until you go into the alternate form. That's just like a total waste. Okay. Did I check everything? Oh, I did miss a door all the way up there, but I don't know if that's actually locked or not. Yep, it's locked. Okay, so we've got, this I can unlock, I believe, make my commute a little faster when I come through here again. Okay, 
and we'll come up here, go back into this hole, and we'll see if we can get to the other side, because if not, we're going up the stairs, I guess. I really don't want to go downstairs, because the downstairs kind of scares me a little bit. So we're going to go up. I'm here. I'm looking for my daughter, Cheryl. I guess uh, he didn't know where she was. All these masterpieces. Uh, that one right there, that's great. And that just looks like an evil and demented teddy bear. <laughs> All right. Oh, first classroom. Ooh. I remember playing this on hard or very hard or whatever the worst version of the game was. And Oh my god. There was like one of these rooms where there were like five of these things in here. Five. Like what kind of awful person would do that? I mean, and the worst thing is, is, you know, given how you kill them, you know, they just keep piling on top of you. It's just like such awesome wonderful piece when you come in a classroom and there's no static. I'm just looking around to make sure that I got everything. You? Me? It looks like somebody put that over the top of it. It's a little weird. So, bathrooms again. Oh, there's the lab equipment room. I think either that or the... Yeah, that's where you probably get the acid. We're going to check out the bathroom because I know that there's something cool in one of these bathrooms. <gasps> I don't like that. Oh, that's right. Don't I have to leave? Does it happen when I leave? No, nothing happened. So is there somebody crying in there? Why for you cry? Uh-oh. Nope! Yes, things. Okay. All that for some handgun bullets? I was like worried when it was one, but then I saw two and I was like, oh no. This isn't good. Okay. Mm. Music room. I don't know if there's a point, but we'll just unlock that. Well, I don't know. I never know which order to do this in. I want to see if I can get up to the lab room though, because I know that at least will progress me. Oh no, not the music. the chemical. Is there any more chemicals? I think that's all I need to get. And this music is distracting me. Yes, not. 
I guess that's it. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Woo! There's still... There's still stuff, and that's the worst thing too, is you never know, like... Is, uh... Is there another one? Because then you have to frickin' kick him. I'm like on such high test alert right now. <laughs> What's this? Nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. You know, if from a design standpoint, I can't help but wonder why you would put this here. Why not put something else there? Make it a little bit more interesting. Let's see, there's the hand. But you have this big whole room. So yeah, there you go. At least there's some handgun bullets there. Why does this seem so glitchy? Like, I don't remember ever running into weird glitchy looking stuff like this. And maybe it's just been too long. You know, we like sit there and romanticize old games. Remember them prettier than they are. Or maybe it's just because I'm playing on an emulator. Statue of an old man's hand. The fist shut tight as if never to let go. <laughs> well, what happens if I use this chemical stuff I found? Ooh. Magically messes up the hand, but doesn't mess up the gold metal. Metal. The metal. Okay, so we got that. It's one thing down. And what else is in here? So there's the library room. And that's where those little zombie brats are, if I remember properly. That scared me. Oh god! I hate how they show up. I, they show up, you just cleared it, and you're like, ah, they're there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I look at the map. The map. The map. The map brings me peace. I know you're there. I know you're there. I know you're there, but I'm gonna go back. It's locked. Well, how do I get in the other room? <gasps> this, this room. I think this is the room. Yes. I stood here like forever waiting for the stuff to come and it never did. And I was just like, oh God, oh God, oh God. And then I finally, finally got the nerve to walk forward and it was just a bunch of those things. Look at them. Watch, you can run over them. And they squeak. <laughs> Three of them. Told you. Told you. Creepy little things. It's not cool. I was just sitting there just terrified. Like, oh. There's, they're all over there, and the move, the moment I go, they're gonna get me. Squeak. So, like, what the heck are those supposed to be? I mean, because it's just weird. It's like so weird. Because they're little too. I mean, like, this is an elementary school. It's not like there's gonna be any kids here that are that little. They basically look like weird enlarged walking babies creepy and they squeak are there some more in here no no see they're tricking me they're tricking me and then there was one with a knife So messed up. Um, what the heck is the point of this room? 
it came down from planet Vulcan. A something came down from a woman. A woman came down from planet Vulcan. That's amazing. I almost wish I could take a screenshot of that. Too bad I'm not playing this on Steam, right? Um, let's see. Where the heck are we? Well, there you go. I unlocked that. That was totally worth. There's just nothing in here. I dislike that. So, when I... Well, everybody that likes Silent Hill and has been a fan of the series for a long time has obviously been feeling the pinch of there just being no Silent Hill. And so I actually found myself trying to learn a bit. Is that another one? Oh, look, it's, it's a mixed one. There's a little squeaker too. <laughs> Those things are so weird. So anyways. What was that? Because that sounded like the noise that the brats make. That... Mm -hmm. Anyway. Wow. So easy to get distracted. So I'll stop for a second. So I don't get distracted again. But anyways. I do hear something. What the heck? Where did he come from? That was weird. It's like hiding in a corner somewhere or something. Well, anyway, so I was trying to teach myself how to make games because I thought I could make my own Silent Hill game, or at least a game inspired by Silent Hill. And uh, I actually did work on stuff a lot. Like, I got Unreal... And um, I, I, I made a lot of stuff in there. I made a lot of levels, but ultimately the big problem I had was I, my big weak spot is programming. I really don't know much of anything about programming. Like I, I know basic languages like HTML and XML and very like small amounts of JavaScript. Like, if I had a script, I could probably edit it to do what I wanted it to do in most cases. But writing it from scratch would be difficult. This just makes me feel so weird. And it's even stranger when you're playing on your computer and, uh... It's up, it's up close, because, you know, I used to play this pretty far back on the TV. And now I'm sitting, like, I don't know, a foot or two away. Anyway, so the point I was trying to make is that I do oh. have some experience trying to design levels, rather designing levels, you know, and trying to find purpose, you know, in a, in a flow. It's like, you know, you want to make good wolf. <laughs> you want to make a good uh, layout for people. And you want to make it so that things have purpose. Because, you know, one of the things I hate the most when I'm playing a game that I kind of touched on in the first video I made was when you can't interact with anything and, like, nothing has a purpose. And so I rather don't like when you have a room and there's no, there's nothing in it. Come on. Oh, I hate that miss. You know, because you got to figure like somebody made that room. Like when you look at a room in a video game, it's it's not just a room. Like, 
everything here was put there by somebody. This radiator, all these uh, signs and everything, the walls, everything, the floor, the doors, like everything, the benches was hand placed there. And so when you have this whole room that you can go into and there's just nothing. Oh God. Oh God. This room gave me nightmares. What is that, you're wondering? What is that sound? I don't know what that sound is. Oh god, but I don't like it. Where, what's, what? Where's it, where's it coming from? Oh god. It's coming from, from that locker. It's coming from that locker. What's in there? That legit scared me. <laughs> oh, it's... Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, but it gets even better, at least if I'm thinking of the right game. So there's just nothing in there, right? And you're thinking, why did they do that to me? And then right when your, your guard is let down and you're thinking you're all right, watch what happens. Watch what happens. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. It didn't happen. I must be thinking of another game. Like, it's like, what the hell? What was the point? What was the point, man? Just to scare me. You killed the cat, you monster. <laughs> oh, it was just to spawn another monster and to freak me out. Okay, I gotta move. My foot's falling asleep. Oh, okay. So, what I remembered was that there was like a body that fell when you walked by, but I think that was in another game. Like I said, you know, when you've played so many of these games, they all just kind of blend together after a while. You know, except for certain scenes where there's really no confusing it. Ooh, our riddle, our big puzzle. A tale of birds without a voice. This is the, the silent key puzzle for the piano. And I don't remember the solution for this at all. So we could try and figure it out. It's a white key. eager for white wings flailing. I don't know. I don't know if I could figure this out. I might just look up a solution. Because it's been so long. And I'd have to look at the keys and see if I could even figure that out. Come on. Let's go. It won't open. Where's the thing with the thing? Like, where do I put that medallion? Don't I put the medallion somewhere? Medallion? I don't even see a place to put it if I wanted to. Hmm. Hmm. So now I'm confused. Thinking, thinking. I'm thinking, I don't know what to do. Oh, what's that up there? Up there, that's the silver medallion that I need to get. I thought, hmm, how the heck do I open this then? Doesn't look locked though. Huh. I totally don't remember that being locked, so. I don't know. We're gonna, I guess, just leave. Hmm. And go where? Can go. One F. Boiler room. Don't want to go down there. I don't know why, but basements just kind of freak me out. The roof. So there's not even a third floor. Is there somewhere like I didn't go? Ah, oh, that's what I gotta do. So I gotta go down the stairs here and get to that other part of the 
first floor that I could not access before, I think. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Da -da -da. Don't you scare me with that music. Oh joy, I hear friends. You guys aren't going to kill any more cats on my watch. He's like the last normal animal in this town. Come on. Okay. So, let's unlock the door. If we can. Yay. And let's see what's in here. A nice, simple wolf. Wolf. Nothing. You see, and I can't help but think, why go through, why? I mean, unless, I mean, I will say this does look a lot like the other rooms. So maybe they had a way of just copying the whole room. Like, I don't know what kind of a, development tool they would have used for PlayStation games like way back in the day but I know at least where the heck are you oh it's a little little squeakers little squeakers why you guys gotta scare me I don't remember there being so many of these little guys. But anyway, my point was, I guess, why leave this whole room and then just have it be nothing in there? At least that room had handgun bullets, but Well, hello. Hello. You're going to you're going to freak yourself out on me. No. Just want to be friends. And look at their bellies. Their bellies look all distended and weird. They're so strange. Are there more? No, finally. You know, and like I thought there was gonna be something down here. Oh, the hall. I might be able to get into the hall. So there's no hall. So it looks like the only place I have left to go is the boiler room. Don't like the boiler room. So I went in there. I went there. I still haven't gone to the roof yet either, but I only remember like something about a ball for the drain. Like you put a ball up there to like plug the drain or something like that. Or maybe you put it down in the bottom drain in the courtyard. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's up on the roof though. Well, whatever. We are just gonna go where we have not been yet. Do you like how I include you guys? It's just like we. We're doing this together. Wait, am I down? Am I down? I am. Oh, it's not as scary as I thought it would be. Friend in need. Well, hello. There's a switch. I don't know if I should press it or not. Do I press it? I want to go look at the other room first. Huh. Can't get in there. Well, I guess... I guess I'll press it. What's the worst that can happen, right? Nothing. That's what can happen.
Hmm. Well. Let's, uh... Go up to the roof, then. Is it just on this side? I think it is. We can probably just go up here again. And then cross over. I'm actually very disappointed with myself. Because I feel like I should be able to figure this out on my own. I've played this game enough. There must be something stupid that I missed. Ooh, or maybe... Maybe I need to take that medallion out into the courtyard. That might be it. Because I know there's like a bunch of stuff you have to do out there at the clock tower. But I thought that was later. And this is locked. Okay, well, we literally can't go anywhere else, so let's uh, go to the courtyard. So, court. Just straight through here. Hopefully. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna transition me over to Badville. Oh, here we go. Look, it's gold. Golden sun. I wonder what it'll do. Oh wait, no, I don't, we don't want them now. We want this. What happened? No. That's right. So this is where the silver plaque goes from the music room. And I need, I think that that opened the piano. So we go back up to the second floor. I also want to look over here. I think this is where you get that key later. Is it on the bottom or on the top? Oh, I actually thought I was in the upper left. I got really confused there. Okay. So we go here. And then here? Nope. One down. I have a terrible, terrible sense of direction. So now. It's open! Yeah! So what have we got here? Some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Hmm. Yes, let's check the piano. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven big keys and five black. Oh, but those make noise. Okay. See if I can figure this out on my own. We only want the silent keys, so. Okay. 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 So I'm going to draw a little picture real quick and drop things. I don't know what that was. So the picture, maybe I'll take a screenshot of this and show it to you later since I don't have any kind of a camera set up. So real quick, I just want to remember this one, black key, white key right below it. Skip one. I 
I'm drawing. Don't mind me. Okay. This is how I used to do everything with this game. I actually used to have a hand-drawn map of nowhere so that I wouldn't get lost. Okay. So that's one. And then next to it is one. And this one I think is one. Nope. The one after it. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now let us go back to the riddle. Okay. So first flew the greedy pelican, which is a white bird, eager for the reward. So that might be the first one. We'll say that the first white key is the pelican. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. So that is probably the last key. One, two, okay. Then we have a raven, which is a black bird that flies higher than the dove just to show that he can. So the raven is the last key. That's a three. And then a swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. So the swan is the key before the dove. That would be four. And the last one is a crow coming quickly to a stop. So that's the one that is before the pelican. So that would be five. I'm pretty sure that I've got this figured out so proud of myself that I didn't just look up the solution. I was going to, just for time, but then I thought, eh, I can do this. Okay, so we've got the pelican here, and we've got the dove here, and we've got the raven here, and this would be the swan, and this would be the crow. Oh, look how good I am, oh my God, it's amazing. I will totally take a picture of this little beautiful display I, ma I made too. <laughs> it's like on an envelope that was on my desk. Okay, so we got the silver medallion. And now we can take that to the courtyard. And then we get to go into Badland, into the bad, bad place. I wonder if it's gonna be as bad as I remember it. Cause I remember it used to just terrify me. I hated being an alternate Silent Hill. It was just scary. But I'm older now. So there's a chance it won't be that bad. Shooting at nothing. Not hitting anything. I'd love to know like how I'm missing when it's literally right in front of me. That's the lobby. We want the other side. Hey, you know what I should do? I should save. Where's the save spot? Was it in the other room? The infirmary maybe? I think it was. I should totally save. Totally, totally, totally because it's about to get crazy. Oh, I keep turning off that flashlight. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to hell. Wrong side. Wrong side. I am so, so bad with direction. Okay. Silver Moon. There we go. Now, we are going to climb 
into the clock tower. What? Well, I messed that up. Hmm. Well, the only thing I could think of that I haven't done yet is that stupid machine downstairs. I don't know. I'm a little confused. I mean, there's the machine downstairs. And there's the roof. Gotta be the boiler room, right? Because I'm pretty sure the roof you only access in alternate. I hope I'm going the right way because I'm not that good with direction. Okay, so does that mean this will work? Maybe? It sure looks like it's glowing where it wasn't before. Oh. What did that do, though? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> this isn't really intuitive. I mean, I guess there was that whole riddle where they talked about the times on the clock tower. And it said it was five, and I do remember. And there is a question mark over there. Yeah, so that was the darkness, and maybe that has something to do with the boiler. Uh, wakening the hungry beast, maybe that's what that noise was. Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's try it again, I guess, because there was like that time with the doghouse where it worked. Or didn't work, and then it worked after I read the note. <gasps> it worked. So I remember this whole scene totally freaked me out. It's just so weird. Because you're going in, you're climbing down, and you hear the sirens going off. And there's just like all these empty, they look like health drinks, don't they? And it kind of makes you wonder if you've been here before. Like many, many times. I mean, that's a lot of health drinks and there's a lot of blood. Speaking of health drinks, how's my health? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so you know that it's just not gonna be good. So you're like, literally, it's, it's like a mirror. You know, it's like a mirror world. You're going down and you're going across, and then you're going back up, and you're coming out the other side. Where am I? Have I been here before? Um, yeah, you literally just went in this way. And here we go, the first Marcus Samael. Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. Or was this the seal of the Metatron? I can't remember. Oh yes. Please, please. 
serenade me with that beautiful music. So, um, I don't know where to go first, so I'm just gonna pick a direction. Oh, locked. Making sure there wasn't another buddy coming from the other end. Uh, what is this? The storage room? I'll go check it out. Sure. Whoa. And see, like, check this out. There's more health drinks. You know, and it's funny. I never noticed that when I was playing when I was younger. Now that I'm older, it's just like, mm -hmm. it's just weird. You know, you can see they're just littered everywhere. And it also makes me think of, like, the beginning of Silent Hill 2. Do you remember when you find that guy who everybody kind of surmised was Harry? Who was at the end of that alley and he has all the notes? What if it... What if it was James himself or... I don't know. I'm not really making a lot of sense right now. I'm just kind of trying to think. It just makes you feel like it was either you that was here or somebody else that was here. And whoever it was didn't have a very good time of it, man. They look like they got beat up pretty bad. Okay, let's try storage. You know, nothing compares to how, oh, there's that rubber ball, to how bad, um, the hospital is in this game though. The hospital, ugh. And then they have, oh, look at that creepy doll. Ooh, it's a creepy doll. S headless creepy dolls. And then there's creepy dead people. You can't really see it, but it's there. See? Right there. Creepy. So, don't mind me, I completely lose my train of thought. Bad guys? Not that way. There it is. <coughs> oh no, we don't like roaches. I forgot about the roaches. I hate roaches. Ugh. Didn't they have roaches in the second one too? For like, a smidge? Like in the sewers. They weren't serious about the roaches. And you know, from a game dev perspective, reusing these maps with the different aesthetic is pretty brilliant. Well, I vaguely remember this. With a key. Wasn't there that room that had a painting that looked just like that? And I remembered looking at it and thinking, that looks familiar. Bad guys. Nope! I hate when they do that to me. and it's still there's another one you took a lot of bullets jeez I guess this is the old reception 
that is just completely blocked off. Yeah, what's in here? More frames? Oh man. I mean, oh, there's, see? I think this was the same room that that picture was in too. It's so weird. Like, you know, you look at this and you think it's still creepy even today. Like, geez, what is that? Like, is it like the skin of this person? Is it in some sort of weird leather poncho? It's just crazy. So crazy. See, and see, here's more, more of those health drinks. I think they're health drinks. Now I'm wondering if they're health drinks because from here, they don't. Let me look. Let me look and see if the bottles have writing all over them. They do, but it doesn't look like the same writing. So maybe they're not health drinks. There was one shot where I could see them really well. I see. I think if I go down here. definitely isn't the same bottle but what is that it's like it's it's strange I don't get it like who's leaving the bottles everywhere like that that should be a video in and of itself like what's the deal with the bottles it's very strange what is this a door if it is there's no keyhole or even a knob if I push it it moves a bit but it certainly won't open What's this? That's where we got to put that key in. Sweet. No enemies. <sighs> you know what? I kind of want to go back and check the lobby real quick. I don't know if you just heard me like kind of catching my breath because I'm a little, I'm a little, little freaked out. Just a little. Nope. Nope. Bad. No. No. <sighs> Jerk. <gasps> Shit. I'm freaking out. I didn't mean to do this. This freaking game. You gotta wonder, like, is the game legit scary or am I just like remembering all of these things? Oh, there's the wheelchair again. Ooh, an ampoule. I think those make you invincible. Yeah. Anyway, this is me being a wuss. Okay. You know, and it doesn't help that that music is just constantly going like dun dun be a freaked out I should have unlocked it okay there we go okay now let's check out the bathrooms bloody sinks what is with these drinks everywhere it's so weird like how did I never notice that before can't get into any of these I guess oh more friends more friends hi friend can't shoot him. He wants me though. He wants to be friends very bad. Ooh. Shotgun shells. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but I would not go in this bathroom. Not even. Not even if I had to pee myself. So I guess what? That's it? Did I go as far as I could go? 
Wait a second. What? Uh, uh, was that bathroom like a portal? Is this like a portal bathroom? It is! What? Portal bathroom. That's weird. I don't remember that. Did I go through the go in here? I don't think I did. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. <gasps> oh, that's nasty. Like, what is this even? Oh, there's a note. Sweet. Leonard Rhine. Well, that's very interesting because wasn't that the name of the monster from Silent Hill 3? The monster lurks. What's that supposed to mean? I gotta start making some notes here. Oh, my shoddy. A hanging body. Why would somebody... Getting to a point where I gotta stop. Because the children are up. So I wanna see if I can't just... I think there's a safe spot in reception. I'm gonna head back over there. I don't know if I saw one in here or not though. Maybe... I'm getting confused. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Oh, that's right, it was in the infirmary. Okay. Wait, I am so lost. No, I'm actually not lost. Okay, here we go. I feel lost because everything looks so different. Here we go. Save spot. Let's check out what we got in here first. Some health drinks. Ooh, first aid kit. Getting spoiled. There's like two of them. I got one the first time. I get one the second time. There's like people up in the walls. That's cool. Okay. So I'm going to call it here. And I will come back later tonight. Three infirmary saves. Okay. You know, I could probably use a break anyways because my shoulders are so stinking tense. <laughs> oh, and then we'll tackle the rest of this nightmare slash alternate view of the map. And fight the boss. Alright. See you guys later. Okay. Let me fix my mic here. Because it's a little off set. Center. <laughs> Let's see. We were at the infirmary. Okay, so sorry, I just thought I heard something and I was being quiet to see what the heck it was. Like, not in the game, but in real life. Okay, so we've still got this whole hole on the left to explore, I believe. Have I been up here? No, I have not. And then we can go upstairs, I guess. Hey. 
and cockroaches. That, that is way, way too loud. Man, it's like blowing my eardrums out. And for the record, if you don't kick them, they will get up. At least I remember that being the case. You gotta finish them one way or the other. What's this? It's kind of weird. We like the bloody chains. Oh yes, is this what I'm thinking it is or is this a different room? No, this is what I'm thinking it is. Why are all these phones over here? Can't use it. I mean, it's not plugged in, right? Okay, but we're gonna leave. <gasps> what? That phone is so not ringing. Cheryl's voice. I know it. Where is she? Cheryl. And look at this disgusting looking locker here. Can't do anything with it, but man, that looks freaking gross. So I think we got everything here. And we'll go upstairs. Surprised I don't hear static. I feel like my mic is up too high, like it got knocked or something. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just not talking very loud. Normally, it's just spiking all over the place. Oh. There's friends. Dead friends. Now. Oh. Oh. Sneaking up on me. I hate when they do that. It totally freaks me out. Oh. And that's like the worst thing about having to like finish them is that there could always be another one. I just want the ammo. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. keep wondering if we're ever going to get to see uh, Alessa's desk. And I can't remember if that was just in the third game or if it was just in the movie or if it was in this game as well. It's kind of hard to tell. There's our little friend. The one that was from the other side of the wall when we poured it up to the second floor here. Uh, I guess we'll just go through here. Oh, cockroaches. Scrunch. Scrunch and crunch. Lock is jammed. There is no music room for me. Locker room. Oh, no. I wonder if the locker room only does the creepy thing in the nightmare world. <gasps> the cat came back the very next day. Total props for you. If you actually remember that, that means you're as old as me. It's nasty and bloody. Ah. Uh. Uh. Wow. 
Wow, that screech was loud. Nothing inside but blood. Will, will the thing happen? Will the thing happen? <gasps> God, I freaking knew it was coming. I knew it was coming and it still got me. <sighs> what is it with jump scares like that? Even when you know, you don't really know, and you're just kind of like, oh god. This thing. This thing. It gave me a key. Can I say something? A body. It's slumped over. Some sick freak shoving bodies in lockers. Shoving cats in lockers. I bet you that's why the other one was all bloody, because that cat died. Okay. Ah. Uh. Library's up there. I bet you this is gonna be locked. Yep. So I gotta run all the way around. Oh, I'm just trying to change my my view. Running into the wall. Oh, that makes sense. What? More? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, you like that? <laughs> Does he have green sneakers? Or just green feet? Hey, let's see if it'll get up. Let's see if it'll get up. Let's test my theory. I'm pretty sure it'll get up. Oh, those green weird feet. You gonna get up, buddy? Looks like a fish. Weird fish face. I think my theory is being proven wrong here. I don't think they get up. Maybe you just have to give it enough time. Hmm. This is very disappointing. I could have sworn that they got up. What if I walk by it? Well, I guess it just keeps making static and driving you crazy until you kill it. I mean, I guess that's one reason. Oh, where am I? In the classroom. Let's just go out this way. Ooh, it's a good thing I did, because there's a health drink. Should be the key that I have. Mm -hmm. What's this? What's this? Nothing. So anticlimactic. What? 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 No. Nobody's here. No. Nobody's here. I really hate sound effects like that. It totally freaks me out. <laughs> I remember playing in the prison in Silent Hill 2. And when you were like walking down the prison rows, there was this weird sound effect. And it was just like... Boosh. Something like that. And I kept thinking that something was going to come out like Pyramid Head or... Some creepy prison guy. And it never did. It was just a sound effect. But I'll be darned if it didn't scare the bejesus out of me. Okay. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back, taunting. Who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked. Jaws opened wide. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. 
I hear something really loud outside. It's coming through my headphones. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. This is referencing the boss fight. This is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Do we get to keep this, I wonder? I didn't mean to do that. Let us look. Do we have... Like, notes? I don't think we do. You know how there were notes in the second one? I don't think we get it in this one. Oh well. So... There's a boss fight coming. Okay. I don't think there's anything over yonder. So... I'm gonna go out this way. Was that right? Yeah. My sense of direction. Extremely lacking. Locked. Locked. Is there a friend over there? Friend? I have roaches. What did I do wrong? Where do I go? Hmm. Oh! Um, no. Dang it. I thought that I saw, I was looking at that door over there and I thought, oh, I didn't go in there, but I did. Well, I have an idea. If I have to get into that classroom, then I probably have to go, like, up or down the stairs and then around. What a pain. I'll unlock this. Do, 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 do. We'll go up for now because there's stuff up here, I'm pretty sure. But I think I need a valve. Yo! All the wheelchairs, they're just everywhere. Beep! Okay. So... This is where I have to put that ball. There's a place... There's the valve. What? I don't remember there being a valve here already. There it is. Nothing special. Just a hole. But just wait. When I put this rubber ball there. Hmm. That's gonna make it so that the water just keeps going and then it goes down in this hole. And then... I can get it down in the courtyard. Not, not the courtyard, the courtyard. See, because there's a key in there. The courtyard. Will this work? There's a drainage valve. Do you want to open it? I'm surprised I didn't need to get a valve. Oh, I'm not playing Resident Evil 2 after all. how we get this like awesome little cinema just to show him turning the valve. I was gonna look around and make sure there's nothing else up here. And it doesn't look like there is. No, that's just uh stuff. Okay. So now we gotta get back down to the first floor. And we're gonna get out to the courtyard. And there's probably going to be more of those little brats trying to kill me. Can't wait. Oh, what's up? Which way? I think it's this way. But I don't remember. <gasps> I was right. No, I have no idea. Is it here? Oh. There we go. 
What key is that? Classroom key. Oh, will that be for upstairs? Where I just was and I couldn't... I couldn't get by. Oh my gosh, get up the stairs. So the worst thing in this game is when you've killed all the enemies and you think you're safe and then you walk into a hall and they're all of a sudden there. It's like the worst thing. Because you almost always run right into them. Like, especially if they're right there. Like, right when you walk in. Is this the right one? What? Ah, has to be this door. We got friends. We got friends. What a strange thing to like have to use the weird aim button. Shoot it from across the room because you can't see otherwise. So what's in here? What's so special about this room? Besides freaky music. Dun 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 dun. I guess because I can get through to the other side. Did I even go the right way? I did. I'm getting good at this. But not really. I don't know. I guess I've gotten better. I mean, I couldn't even move when I first put it up, so. I remember the first time I played Resident Evil 2 was actually before I played Silent Hill. And you know how you like start out in that whole area where there's the car crash and there's a million wrecked cop cars and regular cars all over the place? Well, all the zombies are there and I couldn't walk. And so I just kept doing this. Do, 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 do. Like I, you can't even do it in this game, but you know what I mean? Like how you can't even move forward in Resident Evil. Like it's like you have that turn. It's, it's, it's such a strange. Ooh, I see a health drink. You get used to it though. Like it, it was just how some of those games handled uh, 3D. Let's see if I can unlock this. That's one thing I really like is that they do let you unlock. Now we're going down into the boiler room. It's gonna be scary. I feel like I missed something. Like. I remember there was a really creepy thing where there was like a big monster. That might be from another game though. That might be from the third game I'm thinking of. I don't know. Like I said, it all just kind of blends together after a while. So we've got that room, that room. Let's check it out. Oh, well that's like Right before the boss fight. Let me go check the, uh... Oh, I don't want to do it. What's in here? Ooh, that's, that's, it's really before the boss fight. They're like, you better take these shotgun shells because you're going to need them. And you know what? Given I'm playing uneasy. Hopefully it won't be that bad. Let's see. How bad this is. Oh man, it's it's like a stubby shotgun. Look at that thing. It's not a shotgun. It's a sawed off shotgun, maybe. Look at that thing. <laughs> I actually have a shotgun. It doesn't look like that. It's way bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I'm uh I'm maybe dawdling. So I really hate this boss because um it has this really annoying thing that it does uh, in that it can just kill you. And I don't even know if, if I had a save. Did I even get to save? What if I die? So you just have to turn these until it's open. 
and I'm really worried about the saving now. I'm thinking, crap, I need to save. Or I could just be like super boss and just do it on the first try because he's not going to eat me, right? I mean, on easy, I probably only have to shoot him like once, right? Right? <laughs> Watch, this thing's going to eat me and I'm going to die. So, let's see. Left. That doesn't look good. I really don't remember this. I think it's just kind of like a keep going until it works. Hmm. Right or left? Let's do it right. Because we're on the right, so why not? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't matter. Already going that way. Oh, it worked. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Can I walk with the shotgun? Well, that's good. I can do. Oh my god, that shotgun. The shotgun. Can you imagine, like, all the kids? They grew up playing this game thinking that this is what a shotgun looked like. Does it at least say that it's a sawed off? Fires in a wide radius. I mean, in that picture, it looks a little bit better. A little bit better. Looks like a double barrel. Definitely. Definitely too short. Okay, let's stop procrastinating. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Harry's like, what's going on, man? What's going on? Mm. Mm. This is probably like the scariest boss in this game, too, honestly. All the other ones are kind of lame. This one? Now, here's what I used to do, is I used to kite it around the middle. But I don't know if I can do that anymore. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm freaking out already. I'm freaking out. Shoo, God! Oh! <laughs> shoot! And I backed myself into a corner like an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. You're supposed to go around the circle. But thankfully, thankfully, easy, easy mode saved us. Oh, God. Freaking myself out so bad. Mm. It's Alessa. We don't really know that. But this is the chick you almost hit at the beginning of the game. And she's like, hey. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, I'm going to leave you a key. I think she leaves the key. Yeah, see? Hmm? What was that? I don't know, Harry. What Who was in the hell was that? He's worried about the girl and not the giant lizard. Like, pff, where am I? This is a boiler room? <laughs> He's so confused. What's going on here? I don't know, Harry. I'm just as confused as you. But, uh, let's get this oversized key. The K Gordon key, what did I tell you? It's that teacher. I think you can even look at it too. You can inspect it, which is something I haven't even been doing. The tag says, K Gordon found in the school's boiler room. Look. Mm, old Silent Hill, Southwest Block. Sweet. Stop turning off your flashlight. So when you hear those bells, it's like the church bells. And it means 
you're safe again. At least for the time being. And see? Oh, it's not all crazy and evil anymore. Yay! Let's go upstairs and get the heck out of here and let's go save her game. I hear a uh, church bell, maybe. Who's ringing the bell? Somehow, magically, I know that it's over here at the Balkan Church. Okay. We're gonna go to the infirmary and we're gonna save our game. Because that could have been really bad. Could have been so bad. My 50 millionth save at the infirmary. Thankfully, there's nothing else in this game that scares me as much as that boss does. Except for maybe the monkey man. I really don't like the monkey man. Uh, where do I go? Oh, durr. Going the wrong way. Do, 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 do. They stopped just as I'm leaving. I don't know why I'm getting all sing-songy. I think it's because I got really freaked out, and so now I'm like trying to lighten the mood. Okay. So now we get to go to the church and meet Dahlia. She's crazy. So crazy. Now, I. I don't really remember this whole K Gordon thing that well. So I'm just gonna, I guess, try to get there. And if I can't find my way, then, uh, I don't know, I'll start checking out houses. But it did say the Southwest block, huh? So it's probably like here somewhere. Hmm. I have a good feeling that I should go down this way. I don't know why, but don't whiz on the electric fence just came into my head. Just like out of nowhere. Da -da 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 okay. I think my gut feeling was wrong. Either that or I'm just down an alley that I don't belong in. Nope, gut feeling was wrong. Okay, um, let's go. Oh, you know what? Maybe, just maybe you're supposed to go in the alley. Maybe there's like a back door or something, kind of like uh, the other house that we went through. Oh, there's going to be something annoying down here. Does this look good? No. What is down here? Ready to harass me. A puppy! <laughs> oh, this looks good. This looks, uh... This looks like the place. Totally looks like the place. Wait, is this where I came? No, this isn't where I came from. Yeah, because the place I went to is up there. Okay. So, we got... House. Where's the door? Here? Aha! I'm good. some broken plates on the floor. Do you think there's anything in this fridge? No. No, but wow, that owl. Woo. Could have just saved here. Hey, look, it's going to be a new save place. Gordon. Do you think she likes fish sticks? 
now I'm thinking about that. Stupid South Park episode. There we go. Take a break really quick. Okay. So, I'm completely disoriented now. Up here. And we're gonna take a left. No. Wow. I can has do directions so well. I didn't even have to look at the map to know that I screwed that one up. <laughs> uh, oh, here. I gotta switch my shotgun off. I don't want to waste all my ammo. Oh man, I got a lot of ammo. It's pretty sweet. So I hear the flying friend. What? What? Get out of here! God, I hate this thing. I hate it so much. Hmm. How the hell did I end up down here? Well, geez. Uh, I guess I didn't have the worst sense of direction. The road was just blocked, huh? So I guess I just gotta run this way. Do, 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 do. Lots of annoying enemies! Ooh, health drink. It's not a garbage health drink, but it will do. Buddy! I don't want whatever it is you're selling. Alright, that's kind of amusing. I'm just gonna say. Just how it kind of just falls and <laughs> hits the ground with a thud. Die! Well, let me kick him. Double tap. Okay. Let's see. What? No. I didn't hit the right button. Mm, I bet you. I bet you. I have to go up this way. Oh, do you think there's garbage? Garbage health drinks? Oh! Jeez! It's not safe to go down the alleys in Silent Hill. And it's not for the reason that you would think. Nobody waiting to mug you. It's just gargoyles. Uh, hmm. Ooh. Not what I was expecting. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. The friends. Ah! He's just sitting there waiting for me. What a jerk! What a jerk! Go away! Oh god. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that there's like chainsaws here normally. Ooh! Oh my god. Get. Get out of here, man. Flies away, okay. Okay, man, whatever. Okay. There's a chainsaw. There is no gasoline. Can't use it. Yeah, like if you have another, uh, like a second playthrough, I think they give you the gasoline and then you can actually use the chainsaw. But, as I recall, the chainsaw is not the best weapon. Hmm. Ugh, going the wrong way again. Yes. No parking. Anytime. Pretty sure nobody is gonna care. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here's here's 
Here's the church. Get ready for a CG. Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by gyromancy. What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. You know something. Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by Flowros. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Here, the Flowros, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help you. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait! Don't go yet! She ain't gonna wait for you, Harry. She's rude. So, I guess I'll pick this up. Get a Floros. Get a key. Drawbridge key. What's that thing? Can I get it? Nope. Dad pants can't get it. Health drink over here by the candles, though. At least I think that's what that was supposed to be. Completely wrecked though. Alright. Anything special in here? Picture on the wall? Nothing special? Oh, there's some stuff here. What's this? Newspaper clippings? Oh, come on. I am disappoint. Okay, I'm gonna save here and wrap this video up and we'll pick up in part three going to the hospital.